instead of reality. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Saw him, didn't you? The hammer and Alexander. <coughs> they gave that scaly traitor what for they did. <laughs> Peace is more than she deserves. <coughs> she were a traitor to the core. Bishop's a son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll... He hasn't changed a bit. And the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> when you give up the darkness that's inside you, take your fault, it's there, mine. But it's there all the same. They're working on a cure for you even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <coughs> <coughs> You can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. During the time of Lucian, of course. Who wouldn't join up with God himself? It was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. Can't for certain. But I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <coughs> waste the gift. You protect it with everything you've got. So that's what we do. Lucian gave his life to protect Rivalon. If we let the Void Woken get to it now, well, we'd have lost him for nothing. Fort Joy ain't no summer camp. <coughs> no one said it were, but it's the best we've got to protect the realm. <coughs> oh, I got my eye on you, Scaly. Don't try any of that sauce business on my watch, or I'll do to you what the hammer did to that traitor. Well, that's true now, isn't it? With that little ring around your neck, you can't conjure so much as a boo. Like a cat without its claws, ain't you? Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day.
tea. Pipe down, Bob. It's time to accept reality. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. That Magister, that was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? More the fool you. Day is night, and night is day in Fort Joy, O oh, noble one. The magisters of the royalty around here. You'll learn your true place yet. Now, why don't you move along and settle in? A magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be. Hey, you again. Make it quick. Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. I find any bread. I want no trouble. Come you! Help me teach this beast. He must respect. If not, he comes for you next. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you got to make it so hard? Dragging this on. Ain't that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you.
Runs the kitchen. Means he runs me, you, and everyone else in camp. Everyone in camp's got to contribute. For food, for protection, no exceptions. Especially not for elves. Griff's orders. Food? Protection? I have neither. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. And neither will I. We got a system, and it looks like you don't want to fit in. I'll yield to none. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. I have an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. There is a safe place. Ifan rolls his sleeves back down and casually wipes some blood from his cheek. He nods at you. The shadow of a smile on his lips. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. 
Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. He grips your hand tight as a vice and shakes it, hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back, and it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. I've just got a small errand to run, and then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. The usual way. Haphazard, terrifying, and drenched in blood. Haven't quite worked out the details yet, but I'll wager it'll be no worse than what'll happen if we stay put. Two heads are better than one. And when push comes to shove, four fists are better than two, right? He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer's not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Can do. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green eye, then nods back at you. Right you are. Lead the way. Feel so good.
day, buddy? Hello? You gonna pray all day, buddy? So, time to find this Boris fellow. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is of a personal nature. And if it would not be acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Fane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach.
Uh, what you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know, Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? For you? <laughs> Hell no. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. All manner of things. Have a look. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease-blackened hand.
What do you need? Ha! <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like... She nods once. Clever lass, her. <laughs> oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul. Quiet. Loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? in their right mind would think of a thing like this. You gonna pray all day, buddy? Hey, 
I know you. Losa, the dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were the prince, right? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours, dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Lo, sir, he'd say. Lo, sir, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find you a way out. Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Ha, what I mean is, look, you've never been a, a host, right? That's because you're like a clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... A roadside inn, red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Feels like just one, strangely enough. Big one, though. Don't know its name yet, either. It takes time for them to get comfortable and introduce themselves. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought, and I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. <laughs> 